Well, Adam, firstly, I'll apologise. I couldn't make it in due to scheduling issues. So we're on Zoom today for the pre-match interview, looking ahead to the Avery game. Obviously, Tuesday night wasn't the result we wanted. But when we've got these schedules where all these games are packed in close together, how how can we turn around quickly and turn over that result in this next fixture? Um, I, I think... A big part of it is is continue to do what we're doing uh, every day on the training ground uh, in our preparation, um, and a big thing for me is that we we keep improving at what we do. I think uh, looking back at the game from Tuesday and and going back over it again, there were a lot of good things, and it, it w- was really a um, a big clash of two totally different styles. Uh, we we obviously want to play our style of football, and 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 Farnborough were very direct, very aggressive in what they did. And and on the night, their style um, got the better of us for the, the first part of the game, which I think led to them getting the three points. But there was a lot of good things that, um, in, in hindsight and in review of the game that I took out, the, the second half was really positive, um, could have come away with, it with a few goals. What we have to do is we have to learn from our, our errors and, and get back... Um, get back to playing with a rhythm that we were last season, which, which will take time. We've got we've got some new players in there. We're, we're missing some big players at the minute. Um, so we have to find results while we're going through this period. Um, but for me, it's more of the same. We, we keep we keep uh, working hard and, and growing, growing our philosophy and growing our style. And the more we do that, the better we'll become. But um, I'm, I'm really confident about what's to come for this group. Uh, I think my frustration comes from knowing how good they can be as I see them every day. Um, and now it's just getting that to, to be replicated on a Saturday or a, or a Tuesday night. Looking ahead to Saturday, I saw on Monday night you went and watched Averley play. Was that a useful exercise and did you learn a lot about that side and their style of play? Uh, we, we watch all the games anyway, so whether we go live or we're, we're watching them on a platform um, in the office, we, 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 we watch all the games on all oppositions, so... Um, sometimes you get a little bit of a better feel when you see games live, but um, for me, there's not that much difference from watching it from a uh, pr- from a platform or watching it live. But we we know what they're about as we do every opponent with the the schedule coming up now over Saturday, Monday, and then we're Saturday, Tuesday again. Um, we're we're trying to plan ahead to make sure that we give ourselves enough breathing space to to deal with things that pop up to us that we haven't planned for, which is always the case in football. So we, we feel like we're prepared. We'll we'll, we'll have a, a few good days training now leading into into Saturday and then Monday again. Um, but for me, we need to take the positives from our, our last game. Um, I think if we do that and we improve on that, we'll, we'll put ourselves in a good position for the weekend. And Averley have started the season with just one point from their first three games. Would it be silly to underestimate them going into this game or is it a case of we need to capitalise on their poor form and, and get these three points? No, I always think, look, you can never underestimate anybody in this league. It's uh, it's ruthless, it's, it's relentless. Um, Avery had a great season last season and I'm, I'm sure they'll be competing again this season. For me, the first seven or eight games for every team, you, you're still finding your feet coming out of pre-season because it is... As much as you try and prepare right for the season and you try and make it as real as possible, nothing prepares you for for when the bullets are flying and um, players are playing under pressure. You get to see different elements and different parts of your team that you don't see in pre-season. So uh, Avery will be the same. Avery will be still be tweaking bits and bobs to to um, to get themselves up and running. Um, and I, I think for these first seven, eight games, you, you have to be really aware of everybody because some guys come flying out the block, some guys are late starters. Everyone's still finding the feet. So we approach every game um, with, with the utmost respect and, and making sure that we, we're uh, we're right in everything we do. And finally, just looking ahead to Saturday, we've had two away games in a row. We're at home again on the weekend. Do you think it helps us being at home? Um... You'd like to think so. I think every every team likes to play at home. It's it's more home comfort. It's um, you obviously get your your home crowd behind you, and ours have been a major a major part of what we've done. I think Tuesday was only our uh, second loss in in fourteen games overall from the end of last season to now as a football club, and that was a big part because of our fans. And, and at home we were really strong. So 
we want to carry that on. We want to keep that that run of form going. We want to keep developing and uh, improving as a team. Because uh, I, I said a couple of weeks ago, for me, this league is going to be ultra tight until the last kick of the, the whistle. So um, we, we need to make sure that we, we, we keep pushing, we keep improving, that there's so many points to play for. There's going to be lots of ups and downs. We need to make sure that when we do take a punch on the chin, we uh, we bounce straight back and we, we learn from them. But being at home much definitely helps us in that in that process.